Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from PantherVision and today I want to show you how to make this letter S in vectors with pen tool because a lot of people have the trouble to create an S letter using, you know, you know, with pen tool basically, you know, you got these interesting curves going on. It's uh, it seems a little bit difficult and I also have, uh, you know, it's a simple, it should be a simple process. It should have a few uh, anchor points and I'm gonna show you how to simplify as much as possible. So before we jump in, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get new updates with the new tutorials. So let's see what we can do. The first thing we should do is click on the image. So basically you select what, you can draw your own letter S or you can just, uh, you know, take uh, an already made uh, letter S and just uh, import into Illustrator. And what we want to do is basically uh, bring down the opacity. So you uh, click on the JPEG and you can see the opacity right here. It's 100%. We want to bring it down to like 29, 20 something until it's going to be like pretty much a, a light gray. So we can see and we can draw the lines on it. And we're going to block this layer. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to create a new layer. We're going to press here the toggle lock. So you can see now it's locked and we're going to create a new new layer. You can see here with this, you can create a new layer and now we can do whatever we want. Basically the drawing, the sketch or the JPEG is isolated there. We're going to select the pen tool. You can find it right here and we're going to go and press X, not X, shift X or just flip this thing, swap fill and stroke. So you're going to uh, swap it to stroke. Okay. Uh, where's the pen tool? Good. And I'm going to start it from, uh, you know, here from this edge. And I'm going to create uh, the first line. And from here, I'm going to press and hold alt. So it created a handle and I'm going to drag this handle in this direction. The handles direction gonna show the curvature's direction basically if the handle direction is here the curvature is go basically goes in this direction all right uh i'm gonna try to add an anchor point here i'm gonna press and hold shift and now we're gonna adjust this one by pressing and holding alt this is going to be even simpler, I think, than the one that I just showed you previously. I'm going to make another anchor point here. I'm going to press and hold shift so it isolates here or it isolates uh, in 45 degrees. But basically you don't go like this. You press and hold shift and it, it just isolated like that. Okay, uh, it should be somewhere around here. I'm going to adjust this a little. We should be fine. Uh, we're, we're not continuing like this. So the main trick is you don't go here. Uh, you go down here. So basically here is going to be um, the second anchor point right here in the center. I'm going to press and hold shift. And from here we're going to adjust. You can see like uh, this anchor point or handle and this handle is like perfectly vertical and uh, this is it mainly this is it uh, you can see here it's a little bit edgy but uh, we're gonna adjust that a little bit later after we finish everything and from here I'm gonna go and Press and hold here. Press and hold alt. Should be good. I'm gonna press and hold alt again and drag the uh, handle right here. Or you don't need to press, uh, actually you don't need to drag any handles because it's gonna make it curvy. So I'm gonna just click on the anchor point right here and uh, the handle gonna disappear so it creates these kind of straight lines. And here when I click it I'm gonna press Alt, 
press and hold alt and of course uh, make a handle in this direction so it creates the um, okay this one is going to go somewhere around here so this is the main thing when you create uh, something with pen tool it should be clean as possible it should be really really clean uh, not a lot of uh, anchor points because what you do with uh, the shape builder tool usually you cut everything in pieces and then those eventually going to have a lot of problems with the wait a sec we're going to adjust that later and this one goes here this basically takes more practice until you get it right but after you get it right you don't have much of a problem now you can see it has some uh, issues going on but we're gonna do that with this the direct selection tool we're gonna edit the rest with the direct selection tool for example this one here we're gonna adjust until it's going to be perfect or it can be like this too I think this way works even better okay hmm what I'm gonna do is remove the background image because if I have the background image basically it's creating like two uh, strokes we got the sketch lines in here and then we get the strokes so you think and see that everything is clean and everything is good but if you uncheck the sketch this way you're gonna see even better the problems and of course I'm gonna create a new copy press and hold alt and uh, press shift so you can isolate it press shift plus X so you can flip from uh, stroke to fill or you can uh, click on this one and here you're gonna see the best way how uh, imperfect it is you're gonna see the imperfections uh, as you can see there's like only few anchor points so in this place for example as you can see this anchor points handle is broken it's uh, adjusting separately you know here's a cut so what we're gonna do is like press this anchor point and go to the convert select anchor point to smooth so as you can see we can do it like this now all right as you can see we just clean this area up and i think i'm gonna make it even more thinner something like that and another important thing if you're not sure with this adjustment so let's say you have an adjustment made and you also want to see the adjustment you made before like how it's going to look before and after so you can click ctrl z or command z and you go back but you also want to go uh forward like how it was at the end so you're going to press uh ctrl shift z and you can see it goes back with ctrl z you undo with ctrl shift z you uh go like how it was the final version think this way is too straight I also can select this area this uh, line and just grab it from here and it creates another interesting form in there I'm gonna create a new copy just to remain 
So we got the original one and now we're gonna adjust this one also. I also want to try to see what happens if I bring this even more sharper, if I make it more sharper. You're gonna look even sexier, I think, at least for me. I like when things are pretty edgy. It creates more tension, but yeah. So uh, yeah, this is how you make a letter S in vectors using pen tool. And yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye bye.